Here's how I describe a friend zone situation. So the situation is you have a girl that is your friend and I'm taking a wild guess here that even though she's your friend and if anyone asks, like, is that your friend? You'd just say yes. And if any girl asks, oh, are you friends with him, which is you, they'd probably say yes, right? So it's a friend situation, although deep down inside, you actually like them. So this is common in, uh, in high school. This is common when you have class with someone, maybe even in college. This is common in the real world when you have a coworker that you're kind of like friends with, but uh, you secretly have feelings. This is common when you're in a social circle setting and you have feelings for somebody and you secretly like them. But of course, if anyone asked, you'd be labeled as a friend. And a lot of guys do this mainly because they're scared of rejection. They don't really want to put themselves out there or make it known that they like the girl because they're afraid of rejection or maybe something weird happening where it's going to affect their work, their school situation or their uh, social circle situation, right? So there's this fear of disrupting the friendship due to, like I just said, right? It becoming something of uh, a big deal and, and not comfortable for everybody. So what do guys do? They get into the friend zone because they put themselves there. They always say that women put them in the friend zone, but really you're putting yourself in the friend zone. So you're doing that to hopefully magically one day get to the point where she finally sees you as more than a friend and finally sees you as someone as more of a lover and someone that she can be with. So just understand that this is 9.9 uh, .9 times out of 10 never going to happen for you, which means that there is no way that all of a sudden a girl is going to express her undying love for you when it's been labeled as a friendship. It won't happen because you have not created an environment for there to be any sort of sexual tension or tension whatsoever. So she only sees you as a friend. And if she ever liked you, she feels almost rejected by you because you never made a move. So you end up putting yourself in the friend zone because you act like a friend and nothing else. And that's how the friend zone works. Now what happens is a lot of guys, they feel like there's chemistry between them and the girl, right? So some guys are like, no, trip like there's no way like something has to happen eventually she has to see me i can already tell there's already some chemistry there she's already flirting with me she calls me all the time she text messages me all the time she gives me all this attention first of all understand that all of that attention is friendship attention it's nothing more nothing less that's all it is. And that's why you two have not broken through the friend zone. Let me put a pin in that for a second. To understand if you are in the friend zone or not the friend zone, the only difference between a friend and not a friend is you guys having some sort of physical touch. And I don't mean like a hug or a high five. I'm talking about a kiss, some sort of sexual touch. You guys actually getting physically intimate with each other. If that hasn't happened, boom, you're in the friend zone. Okay. Let's rewind to my last point. So just because you guys are spending a lot of time together, that doesn't mean she's interested because you're not having, again, that physical intimate touch. Just because she text messages you a lot, just because she may even say flirty things, like maybe one day she gives you a compliment and says like, oh wow, you look really good today. And then that makes you feel like, oh, maybe there's a shot. So she keeps sucking you back in. She keeps pulling you back into this idea that maybe there's a shot. Well, let me say to you as a public service announcement, there is no shot. This is not happening for you. You must move on or try to break through this. So the chemistry, I'm going to put this in air quotes, the chemistry that you're feeling is a facade. It's not real. It's only real in your mind. And the only reason why you're kind of sticking around as a friend, and I know you already know this, but I'm just, you know, repeating what, you know, is already going on in your head to help you understand. I know what's happening here is that you're just hoping and praying that one day that chemistry will sort of like build its way little by little by little by little until bam, there's some sort of magical moment when you guys do break the touch barrier and you do kiss or she says to you, I'm interested, I like you, 
and we need to be together. Or that magical moment when you finally do break past the touch barrier and then there's this moment where finally she says to you, I like you, I want to be with you, and then boom, it happens, right? But again, it's never going to get to that point. So the point here is that the chemistry is not real. Now, real quick, I got to tell you, if you want to make sure you avoid the friend zone at all costs, you need to build sexual tension. In order to do that, there's certain things that you must do to flirt with her, to show some of your masculine traits. And I go over all the necessary details in terms of how to do that in my Hooked program, which you can check out at getherhooked.com. The link for that is also in the description down below. If you want to learn how to make sure that you will never get in the friend zone again, this system teaches you how to do that. Just understand that by doing this, and this is huge and courageous on your part, by doing this, you are offering the chance of getting rejected. However, the good news is the Hooked program teaches you the optimal way to attract a woman so you lessen your chances of rejection. So right now you're kind of just shooting in the dark, hoping for the best, and a lot of guys who are doing that land themselves in the friend zone because they're not doing it right. But trust me, and I think you can agree with this, it's better to at least get rejected by more women and then to have the chance by getting rejected to be able to have the chance to be with more women instead of being in the friend zone for God knows how long and waiting around for God knows how long to finally get to the point for a girl to like you, which, like I said, probably won't happen. So look into that course down in the description below. But let's keep going here. I need you to understand another point, and that's that women, they like the attention of a guy. Okay, so you're probably thinking, I don't get it, Trip. Like, still, it doesn't make sense to me. I feel like she's flirting with me. It feels like she likes me. It feels like there's chemistry there. The reason why you're feeling that way is because women do like the attention of a guy. It feels good. So I have to kind of make you understand here. The attention that she's getting is not attention that she can get from her female friends because you're a male, and so you're offering this different type of energy, right? A it's different hanging out with a male than a female or a man or a woman, whatever. It's different type of energy. It's different type of conversation. It's a different kind of feeling that you get when you're hanging out with different people. So she's getting this attention from you, which is different attention she can get from her females, and that makes her feel good. Now, I'm not trying to put women down here. I'm not saying that they're uh, consciously using you to get that attention. I'm sure she likes you as an actual friend. I'm sure you guys have a real connection, a real friendship, but it does feel good for her to get that attention just like it feels good for you to get the attention from a female. The only difference is you like her and she doesn't, okay? Because it's a lot easier for a guy to just be really attracted to a girl physically and then all of a sudden they like her personality, so you combine those, boom, guy's attracted, interested in the girl. But for a woman, it's not so much just looks. It takes a lot more than that. It takes the behavioral cues of a man to become attracted. The masculine traits, the dominance, the assertiveness, the courage, the flirtation, the sexual tension. All those things I just listed, you're not doing with this girl. Therefore, you are in the friend zone. Does that make sense? So that's why she looks at you like a friend, but you are not looking at her like a friend, but she continues to hang out with you because she likes that male attention and it makes her feel good. And of course, naturally, uh, she likes you as a friend and you guys get along. I remember I was in the longest friend zone situation of my entire life. I think I was in the friend zone all the way from ages 11 to like 18 with this one girl. Now, I wanna be clear here. Uh, this was not a situation where I wasn't going after other girls in my high school years and I was just going after her. But I remember I had this very long crush on this girl for uh, how long is it? Like seven years, okay, seven years. And of course, I never made her feel like I was anything more than a friend. So I always tried to see like, hey, maybe something could happen now. Oh no, maybe something could happen now. I was like, I was always waiting around for something to happen. And it turns out, no, obviously nothing ended up happening because it was the same situation. She liked getting attention from me. I gave her lots of attention. And the interesting thing is, 
What guys do when they're in, a, in, they're in the friend zone, and I, like I said, I know this because I've been in the friend zone, you're giving a very special kind of attention. You're almost giving more attention than what a regular friend would do because you're trying to get her to like you. So you're really like always there for her, always answering her calls, always answering her texts, always doing nice things for her. Like almost like you're being too good of a friend, like her normal female friends or other guy friends that maybe don't like her are not doing. So she sees you as this really awesome guy. So of course she wants you around. Of course she gives you more attention because you're giving her this special attention, this special treatment, because you're thinking if you do this, then logically she's gonna say, wow, he's a nice guy. He does all these things for me. Now I like him, but that's not the case. It never ends up happening that way, because like I said before, with attraction, it's an emotional reaction. And it's not happening from you doing stuff, it's happening from your behavioral cues, the way you act, the way in which you uh, offer your masculine traits. It's not very masculine to try to convince a girl by giving her stuff or doing stuff for her, being there all the time. That's not masculine. That's just you being a slave. What's masculine is you being on your path, your purpose, doing your own thing, having your own friends, having your own life, and not completely, completely paying attention to her all the time. So how do you avoid this? Well, I already told you, you need to flirt. You need to exhibit your masculine traits, right? Some of those things. You need to go get the hooked program at getterhook.com so you can learn the proper way to attract women. But there's some other things that I want you to learn too on how to avoid this. First of all, if you are prone to getting into these friend zone situations, I don't think you should be having any female friends whatsoever, especially ones that you think you're prone to get attracted to. Because what happens is a lot of guys do get friends that are girls and they say in the beginning like, oh, you know, I don't like her, but then they end up falling for them because they don't have any other options. So guys who are not out and about meeting women who have any kind of female friends, Nine times out of 10, fall for that girl. And again, boom, you're stuck in the friend zone once again, even with a girl you weren't even necessarily that into, but she feels like your only option. So just for a small time, don't make any girls your friends. Just be going out and meeting women and try to get to the point where you are going for women that you're attracted to. Just for a little bit, say no to female friends so you can get used to the idea of not being in friendship mode with these girls and more you actually going after them. And when I say going after them, I don't mean chasing them. I just mean flirting with them, making your intentions known, trying to go on a date with them, going to the point where you finally get rejected. Another thing is stop making women into these unique snowflakes, okay? What I mean by that is what you're doing right now is you're in the friend zone situation and you're going trip, but you don't understand this girl is different. She's amazing. She's got this trait and this trait and she's my perfect type and, and she's so nice and she's good to her family and whatever the case, she knows me so well, right? All of these things. You gotta understand this is only happening because you put yourself in this situation. You could have this situation with any other girl. There are lots of amazing women out there who are just as good, maybe even better. And one of the main reasons why they will be better is because this is a girl who actually likes you. I always say to guys, one of the most important things you need when you are meeting a girl is the fact that she likes you back. If she doesn't, she's immediately disqualified, immediately. And of course, friend zone situations, that's the case, right? Is that girl doesn't like them, but guys are not disqualifying them. So understand, just because you have a relationship of some sort, like this friendship relationship with a girl, it doesn't make her a unique snowflake. Lots of women out there, you just don't know this yet because you haven't been out there. You haven't approached enough women. You haven't done enough online dating. You haven't put enough effort into meeting more women. Once you do, I'm telling you, you're gonna finally find more women out there that you do like, that do like you back. So don't all of a sudden categorize this person just because you know them so well. I think you get my point. I've really honed in and given you exactly what you need to know about this friend zone situation. That's why you're there and this is how to avoid it at all cost. If you need to rewatch this video so you really understand it and you really start putting this into practice, then do it. And if you really want to start avoiding the friend zone, get the hooked program. What are you waiting for? Getterhook.com. 
down in the description below. It's frustrating. It's annoying. I know, as you can tell how passionate I am about talking about this, because I've been there. I get it. I know it better than anybody else. So stop doing this to yourself. Stop torturing yourself. Start to give yourself some respect. You don't need to be in this situation anymore. And again, don't blame her. It's not her fault. Don't play victim mentality. Instead, come back to yourself and ask, what can I do 